Okay, so it is working. Alright. Oh, try this again. Alright. I'm gonna add some detail to this lighthouse here. Hopefully I can keep an eye on this to make sure it's working. Seems like it is. All right. Let's make the chair get a little bit taller here. A little too short. I already got the oven preheated, so I want to put this on the back here. Bump kind of like that. But I think I want to add some texture to it first, so that. We don't have to worry about it later. Make it so much more easier. And not really gonna take much to do it either. Just run this over it. A little bit here and there, and then I'll do a little bit of a Latin of it. This one's kind of look a little bit like rock. I might even just add a couple layers to it and make it look a little thicker. Dang it. I think I'll probably just end up going somewhere. So there's a little bit of a break in it, back side of it. stuck to this all the pushing down on I've been doing here make sure that it doesn't form too much to that this will work perfect turn this into like a rock ledge or something there Figure that might be able to move it after it's baked. That's why I'm trying not to stick it to the other clay too much.
really only worried about it. Sticking on top. Boom. Break it free. Let's be able to get the battery in. Really want to keep that shape, you know? Just to Take much to get that there. Now we're just gonna kind of blend this upper part in a little bit more, so that I'm gonna try to hold it a little bit better up here. see what it looks like on this uh oh hey hey elizabeth how's it going still trying to get everything tuned back in here thanks for stopping by This one here, kind of move the sharp edges out a little bit. So my peaches turned out really awesome. So did the jelly I made. Super yummy. Wants to do that over vacation. I was gonna add a dragon to this thing. Then my uh, girlfriend told me that she liked how it was just a lighthouse. So I decided to just leave it. Just 
trying to add a little bit of like that look kind of like maybe grass up here on this edge it's really hard to do much else that once once it gets painted I think it'll look really slick yeah so I'm gonna finish up this guy today which isn't gonna take much more I'm just gonna add some beams to the top of the lighthouse up here I'm gonna use a two little tube machine and make like a little mesh. And I think I might even, no, nah, I'm gonna try not heating it up, but I was thinking about maybe I might need to heat it up to have it stay the shape I want. But I'm gonna try to do it without, see if it'll work. The little tube machine's pretty cool. You can like layer the different kinds in there too, so you have a different size out of it. This little thing. It's like a Play-Doh machine. Let's back a little. Just focus. I don't know if this one, this one might be too big still. All right, here we go. So, just like a Play-Doh machine, you know? comes out but we want to be straight as it can be so I might have to try to do a different one I almost think that this is too big I can like try to use a smaller one I thought it might have been needing to be the little bigger one, but I wasn't realizing how small it actually was. Yeah, it's weird getting back on here. I haven't done this for so long. I had to like go through and remember how to set everything all back up. All right, let's see if this one works better. bit better it's hard to move it around but I think if we just try to manage it I wonder if maybe I just like straighten it out as best I can Grab the heat gun really quick. Just have it. I'm gonna try it since I have it right here. It's not that much to do it. Just takes a second. I was thinking about getting a little mini heat gun, but this one seems to work just fine. Lot it is, but do it for a second. Okay, take that. Give me something to work with. Oh, 
Oh, it's a little bit better. Okay, so. Trying not to heat it all the way through by doing that. Even like this might have been a little bit too much. This was the part I didn't heat up. Piece I didn't heat up. Yeah, a little bit harder to work with. Those ones are stayed down there. Seems to be a little better if I don't heat it up. We're not gonna do that. First of all, but I'm trying to do it with it the way it is. It's easier to work with this way.
So I got a new music computer set up. So I should be making some new music here pretty soon. Just gonna figure out how to get it to go from that computer to this computer. Probably gonna be pretty similar to this music, but. And I'm gonna go on the bottom edge of it. Pretty cool. It actually turned out pretty awesome. Like the, the look of it. A little lighthouse.
pissing me off again. better than the last one. First you want to kill me, now you want to kiss me. Blow. Cool, 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 cool. That works for me. Feel that up somehow. All right, I think this is about done here. Go take this and this. Horn, the horn on this broke off, but yeah, I'm so worried about these connectors. They don't stay very good in the in the heat. This one got all bent. I'll be right back. Two seconds.
right, we're back. All right, so now we'll pull it aside and clay away that we're not going to be using for right now. Doing a little bit of some painting. Maybe we'll doing the morales, I think, first. Oh, actually, I got this. So, this guy here, you're gonna do like a red on the top. Maybe yellow inside the little things. Yellow on top and red on things. Hmm. We'll see. It's apple seed. Tuscan red brings a dark edge. That sounds like a good one. Tuscan red. I'm just gonna cover the whole top with it. in this color too. Layer. using this kind of as like a base. Well, we'll go over it with some more stuff here in a second. I'm gonna get a dark brown out. This one right here. Grab the morales really quick. Gonna take this real brown, mix it together. Oh yeah, that worked perfect. Need to get inside all the cracks and the grooves inside of these. Morales. And then we'll take a light tan and go over top of it and then we'll take some black even and go over it some black in some spots first part's going to be getting down into the actual grooves you know so deep, that's why I'm using this big brush. Let's you cover a lot more area. Even I'm gonna have to go back over it and recover parts with the lighter color. I'd rather be able to see some of these spots that I got. Like can't get with a little brush. I stay in the camera too. Got these been dry for a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit of a messy day today, I think. It's just acrylic, so I don't really worry about 
dirtiness of the paint so much. If there's oil, I'd worry a lot more. Way more. Paste it. Do that stuff. But it's all working now. So we're all good. Yeah, that one's pretty good for the darkness. First layer of it. I think I might be able to just put these on here for now. Don't let them dry. Do the same thing with the other morales. Also gonna unnatural. Just kind of add a little bit of that, more of that red color to it. To have a different color down inside of it. Too, as I'm gonna go over it. Dark side of the force is Get a good layer on it. Too many abilities, some consider to be unnatural. Same thing with this one here. And I'm gonna go back with the brush, not with it being moistened, just with it being dry. Try to see if there's any stuff in the holes that I can suck out with the brush so it isn't so uh so the holes are more defined let's go over with the lighter color plus I want to take the black still and go through some of them Got a snail rider today to paint too. Okay, we're gonna go back to this one. Try to get some of the excess out. And I can kind of see where the Yeah, I can really see it. the pores now on it. I want to go back over it. This is the excess paint.
Yeah, you can really start seeing the pores in it once I some of it away with this. This guy in the cracks. Yeah, we're just gonna paint him up with this brown too. We're gonna layer him too, so we don't wanna. I can clean the eye off anyway, so I'm not really too worried about it. Just trying to get it up there. Yeah, I think I can. Just smudge it all off from it. Yeah, not too worried about it. Bring that one up too and let that one dry. Want him to be a lot lighter. I don't want him to be that color. Thank you. 
I know I have some. Thank you, though. spots on this. a little bit. Just for inside those. Still pretty wet, so. It, it'll help it mix with it a little bit. darker in some of them. All of them. What's it? Once I put the light color on it, it'll fill it in really cool. color will look really cool on top of this. It's pretty much you gotta like layer it out. I don't want to fill in all of it. But I still might end up doing like a dirty wash on it too. After it's all dry. I think the, the tan over it will really make this part show.
trying to not do it too uniform. spots too to get the black down in there. It was kind of a layer thing. Now you're painting anything. Alright, so that one's going to go here. It'll show up better on the littler ones than on the bigger ones. Trying to give it a little bit of depth, you know. A little. <clears throat> Oops. Try to get into them little grooves. I'll cover the whole thing in black. I'm 
better to do the wash. I don't see much money more on that one. Got pretty dirty from that. Cold cage of glass, the prison, the reward. As the moments pass, not a single breeze that could reach me to make it feel like any of this is meant to be real. So fake. Now that I could take what I adored.
something. Oh, it's been a while since I've done this. Yeah. Turned out pretty cool. Make sure I blend everything the way I want to. sealer on these ones so make sure I kind of get it right the first time for the painting it's just like a clear coat matte finish but it's like a kind of like an acrylic Sort of sealing on it for going to be for plants. If I put them in a plant, you gotta make sure that the water doesn't break it down. Paint so much. The paint's just water based, anyways. Another red. Go around the 
edge with it. Anyways, it's like a little brighter than the color red it already was. Oh, it's all good. I'm just kind of getting back in the swing of things here. Not really used to being on here yet again. So. If I'm kind of not talking, that's part of it. But thanks for stopping by either way, you know? Kind of. It's encouraging either way, you know? dry brush and get rid of some of that. Oh, can't even see it. Never mind. I'm gonna leave it. Okay, so now we're gonna do the little dimples in it. Daffodil. Daffodil. Still. I'm gonna need a satin actually. I would have lost those little things up there. Thank you. 
do more than one layer. Don't seem too steady today. Oh, the yellow is really bright, especially on camera. It's not so bright, like to the eye. But on camera, it's super bright.
think I might take like some of the color shifting red and go on top of this still. I was hoping there was a color shifting yellow, but there isn't. Not that I have. Those yellow dots look really cool. Got the way from the dry, so uh, one more time. Be able to totally satisfied with them. But they do look pretty cool, look pretty bright. Alright, so have this color shifting thing. It's a metallic bright red. I want to see. Let's see what this color shifter looks like first. I know they're a little thinner. Any other paints? I put a nice plain brush on it. Slowly 
wants to go back over to yellow again, so. Won't look so bad. I wish I would have painted the color shifting part earlier in the process. So that it doesn't look so shoddy. But maybe just let it dry. Another layer after it's dry, maybe it'll look better. A lot of the other paints, when you do them in layers, they start to look a lot better. Let's see if this one would be any different. latte and linen it's gonna end up being the latte uh, I think it might actually be the linen Shoot.
yellow in it, maybe. I think I'd want to do different about it. Be like a a starter coat day for these morales. Let them dry and see what they look like when they're dry. Somewhere else to dry. Oh, we got a couple more little ones here to do. Oh, I forgot about these guys. For this one. So, take this. Do a little yellow. Hopefully the weather's better there for you than what it was. It got warm here the last couple days. Been in the high 80s, low 90s, but not no 100 like it was over there by you. Washington. Or, and there in Canada over there. I don't have to worry about 
pattern on it so much. Just paint this. And get that color shift color on it. It's like a little mushroom like that big one. bad though. I think this thing will turn out pretty cool. These are all going to go down to this craft mall we have. Um, yeah, all these things have been working on today. The mushrooms. I think I might even take a little lighthouse down there. I want to take a variety of my things because I want to Ask the lady what might be the best to try to sell, you know. I'm trying to make an effort towards it. I got most of the stuff I need to do with some of these little things. I just want to keep on doing my art. I'm not really caring about the whole trying to find people to buy my stuff. I just want to, if I can put it somewhere and somebody can possibly purchase it, then keep doing my art. trying to get a nice thin layer on this. I don't see the brush stroke so much, but I don't think it's going to happen. So much tastier when they're little. Okay, so this one's 
sign. Side. Okay, back to this guy here. I need a new brush though for that. The color is too much. I'm just gonna try to do another layer of this color shifting color. Gotta be thin though. Thick. Huh. The end of the music. Got a little bit more I'm gonna do here before I'm done. Just a little nice thin layer on here. Make some battered fish here in a minute. Tartar sauce. Prison, the reward as the moments pass. Not a single breeze that could reach me to make it feel like any of this is meant to be real. So fake now that I could right, take so what I adored. That's pretty much all I'm gonna do that red. Still got the snail rider. I'm just starting to look way better now that they're drying. 
Let's start with my morales more. Morales. First you want to kill me. Now you want to kiss me. Blow. Yeah, I think that this guy can be painted yet. He's still too wet. First you want to kill me. And we can try it. This will be the last one right here. Okay. I think tomorrow when I come back on, I'm gonna finish up these minis. Some mushrooms and maybe start painting uh, the lighthouse. And uh Mandalorian skull. Alright, so we got this one snail rider. 
I want to glue the little shade spot to him. And then we get this little claw ornament. It's going to go for the, the knight. I'm going to put it on his waist or something still. But I'll set that aside. I'm not too worried about that one. This thing here, though, I'd really like to get painted. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. And this guy here. I think I wanna maybe make him a little bit easier. Let's look at that a little bit. have a ball in here, but I don't really see it. I think that. So, I'm glad I came back today. Got a good couple hours in. Good two hours, it looks like. Thanks for the courage around my sculptures. Making Jubilee. Jubilee, what's that? Cool. But yeah, I'm just uh gonna be back on tomorrow. I'll try to get into the swing of things again. Try to do the Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Got kind of a lot of compass with these little guys today. It's, it's, morale looks pretty cool. Here, let's get the camera on it. There you go. Looks pretty cool. The little tiny one. Yeah, it's like morales. And then the little tiny dome one. It's like the big dome one. It's still pretty wet. If we start on it, we're gonna add a little bit more. Maybe we'll do like a, a dark wash or something to the bottom of it. So it's all dark in there. We don't want that one to get too, uh, too dirty, like, put some bright colors on it. And then the, this one right here, I guess still might add 
Actually, I might leave that. I like it like that. All right, so that was today's. Glad to be back. Good thing you got the good two hours in today. Got the lighthouse done, that's baked. And the learn skull's done. Yeah, it looked good in a planter or something. Yep. 